Hey divas and gents, this is Anna coming to you with the Butterbee Scraps Design Team Project for the first of the year. Um, today is January 1st and this video you won't see till the second. <laughs> but it is the first project of the year, ladies. So um, I am going to go ahead and show you the items that I used. This one right here, it's 889. And excuse, my hands look ghetto. I, I literally just got done. This project is just recently finished. How, let me just put it to you that way. So hands have glue on it. I have uh, paint and they're all dried out because um, I put lotion on and then as I craft and I get glue, I rip it off and my hands just are not, just don't even look at that. And don't judge, please. <laughs> So anyways, okay, those are the three items, and you know what, shame on me. These are the um, 12 SS12 clear pointy backs. Um, I love, these are the bigger ones. I tend to use the 10s a lot, but in this project, right, this thing right here, this is not a Butterbee scrap item, this frame, it's a Michaels one. And the little holes in here, you're gonna see it requires a bigger stone. So that's why I used it on this one. But a lot of the, on the filigrees, I tend to use the 10s. Okay, so what this is, let me just show you the back so you can have an idea what the heck it is. This is a little chair. I got it from Daiso. It was um, a brown color. I had to paint it three times, and when I painted it, I did a texture paint. So I, I did this. I didn't do this because it was already a smooth surface, so you tend to have to... Um, sand it down in order for the paint to hold well I don't have patience for all that and I'm not going to sand all that stuff so if you use I use a bristled brush that's like a circle and the bristles are really hard and and I just pounce all the way through so of course you're not going to be able to oh there you go so it gives it that effect which I'm fine with that I don't care I actually like it better that way instead of the little smooth rub on rub off so um, that's what I did for the whole chair all the way around Okay, and you'll see that I used two, actually I used three here, okay, my bad, three, four, five, six, seven, and this was the eighth one. I was going to say, she always does them in even numbers, <laughs> so um, I used that many here. I painted all of them with um, acrylic paint. It's the Craft Smart from Walmart, vanilla. I almost used the whole bottle painting this because it was three coats of paint, and I painted these but I only had to do it once and I did it to where you could still see some of the gunmetal really little though and then I dry brushed this right here I just took some of the paint so that it would just flow better with the chair okay so um, let's go ahead and start here this is not adhered and this is not adhered to the chair I'm still deciding if I really want to do that or not um, so I have it just flowing on there Okay, so the top part of the chair, this right here is a little wooden embellishment from Michaels. It's the, um, I don't remember even when I got it, but I've had it for a while. So I just painted it with the same color paint. And then um, I used one of these. I didn't do anything to it. I just adhered it on with glossy accent. And then I put on one of these cute little bows that I got from Michaels. And then I just adhered loose little pearls right there so that they're just floating inside the letter E. Okay, and that's all I did. And then I, of course, I hot glued this piece to this piece because it's wood to wood, so it would have been fine. Okay, then let me put this down carefully. Okay, so then what I did is I went ahead and put this doily down and this doily I had purchased from paper bag lady and so this is a bigger one so it, go, it covers the whole bottom of the seat I have a bunch of loose pearls here that I just wrapped around like this and it's just sitting underneath this flower and I just have them dangling and then I have it going all the way through here then it's going through here wrapped through here so it's kind of like just everywhere on the chair and then this flower, this really super beautiful flower right here, this was um, made and gifted to me by Laura, who's the Robin Laura. <laughs> 
Thank you. This was the last flower, Laura. I'm going to die because I've used everything that you sent me. <laughs> and this is actually a hair clip. So that's why I haven't adhered it because I will actually wear these kind of hair clips in my hair because I'll still wear headbands and stuff like that. So that's why I did not want to adhere it. So what I'll probably, I'm leaving it here for now for looks, but I'll probably just make another really pretty flower, you know, kind of the same way and then put that there permanently. And then I just have this really pretty acrylic flower that I've had in my stash for a really super long time. So I just have that sitting right there. This part is adhered. And that's that little tiny spool right here. This is adhered to the chair. And then I just wrapped around a little piece of trim. And then this right here is not adhered. It's just a little tiny stick pin. I mean, this is a really small stick pin. It's uh, barely over an inch big. So I just put a little flower gem on there and a little tiny pearl. And then I just have it to where it's just sitting in there. So that can come, you know, come in or out. Then this one, this charm right here, this top part piece right here was um, given to me in a swap by T Johnson or Johnson T, T Johnson here on YouTube. Thank you so much. And I put a different charm here because the original charm she put on here, I used it for a different project a while ago. <laughs> So then I created a um, another type of charm and then I just hung it to the bottle cap she made and then she also put this really pretty butterfly in the back. So that's what you see from the back of the chair and it just dangles here perfect off of one of the filigrees. Then what I went ahead and did is this right here is a Michaels frame and I have a digital image. This image I purchased from Etsy and um, a while ago. And it's actually um, a tea pouch, um, a tea pouch digital image. But since I didn't make the little pouch to put a little tea bag in, I cut out this her image out of that because I wanted to use her face because it's absolutely beautiful. She's so pretty, but of course there's gonna be a reflection because there's a little um, the little plastic thing that's there. And then I just put some loose pearls, round pearls, and I adhered it through the inside. And you see right here, there's a little bling there, there's a bling there, and then um, you can't see, there's one down there, 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 and there. So I put those pointy back crystals in each of the, because there's little holes there, and I was like, oh, that's perfect, that's so stinking cute. So, um, and then I, had, I have this trim right here. It has pink running through it. And all I did was I hot glued all the way around the frame. So, and then it just goes all the way through, all the way around. Okay. And then this little pretty butterfly was gifted to me by Elizabeth, who's a um, Beauty Bomb Bomb here on YouTube. Hi, Elizabeth. So, um... And that's what I did to that. And I used, like I said, I used seven of these filigree pieces that are square. And I just lined them all the way up. Like this. So they're th like this. And they're all evenly done. Okay. And then I used all the pointy back crystals from the store for the frame. And then I adhered this really pretty white one, this really pretty white flower that's also from the store. I love that one. And there's a glue string. Awesome. So this is my little project. This is just a little decor. It's not um, necessarily a functioning project, but um, I like it. I haven't really made anything that's really decor decor with no functionality to it, but to look cute. So um, I wanted to do this. It's been sitting on my craft desk um, for a while and I wanted to um, use it for my design team project. So hope you ladies like it. It's a little on the shabby chic side. We all love some shabby chic. So um, thank you so much ladies for stopping by. Head on over. Uh, Monique will be back. By the time you see this video, she'll be back. The store's been open for you to purchase anyways. And, and anybody who has did any purchases, she'll be shipping that stuff out as soon as she gets home. Okay, ladies so and gents, thank you so much for stopping by and taking a sneak peek at my cute little project. And um, I'm done for tonight, but I do have a couple more things I have to work on. 
and um and I'll, of course i'll have to share them with everybody got to spread the love so i hope you guys all had an awesome first and i will talk to you soon bye